Well, it was posted that uh, it would be desirable to have a, a video tour of the experiment in progress uh, in lieu of having a live stream video. So here we go. Uh, here, here you can see the sort of the workbench area where the reactor is set up. Uh, the laptop there is running the gamma spectrometer and it's connected to the network. And to the left of that is the reactor. So here you see the uh, uh, the gamma scintillator inside its uh, lead brick cave. And opposite that you can see the uh, K26 uh, brick uh, reactor uh, insulation. And then on the other side uh, down below you can see the uh, pancake uh, Geiger-Muller uh, tube sensor. Notice this little lead pill with something yellow underneath it uh, on top of that lead brick. That is my uh, tracer cesium-137 source and the uh, the potassium-40 uh, uh, source is actually uh, down in the end of uh, the, the scintillator housing. So there you can see something uh, sitting, a plastic bottle sitting in front of the, uh, the scintillator tube and that provides the potassium-40 tracer. Uh, what you see here is back pressure regulator. This small tube is coming from the reactor tube. Uh, the pressure sensor is here. Uh, the uh, solenoid operated valve is there, the orifice is there to slow down the uh, evacuation of gas from the uh, reactor so that the, the uh, solenoid valve has time to respond. The data acquisition is over here, let me back up a little bit, see it's on the other side of the uh, uh, aluminum uh, shield from the uh, reactor and the data acquisition system uh, and power supply for that matter. Power supply is this B&K precision uh, power supply down here. Uh, it is uh, a 36 volt 10 amp uh, USB programmable power supply. Up top here we have a collection of electronics. You see the Omega uh, data acquisition uh, module. Uh, we have over here we have the uh, voltage uh, measuring and current measuring uh, apparatus. It comes in from the power supply over here, goes out there to uh, the heater, and these are the voltage and current sampling uh, signals going into the Omega DAC. Uh, this is a line voltage monitor that goes into the DAC. Uh, this board here is the USB uh, programming electronics for the back pressure regulator. You can see in the very back there are a ton of ground wires grounding everything. And we have the uh, region of interest uh, counts from the scintillator coming in here and those go into the, the DAC and here we have uh, the counts coming from the Ludlum uh, rate meter which is uh, counting the, uh, the the pulses from the pancake Geiger-Muller tube on the back side of the reactor. Uh, just in this spare uh, bench space, uh, you can see I am working on uh, my uh, neutron detector. The, those boxes of borax are neutron uh, shielding. Uh, here, this white block that you can see uh, right there, that is my neutron source uh, that I can turn on and off. It is a, a 210 polonium alpha source and a beryllium foil. Uh, with the beryllium foil being uh, movable to take it on and off of the uh, alpha source.
uh, have a you know the desk here with uh, the computer there in the back, the desktop computer that's running the experiment, uh, and even and here here is the bed where, where I try to sleep when I'm running the experiment and something needs tending. Uh, electronic bench is back here on the other side of the the wall of the lab. Have uh, uh, a uh, Ultra high vacuum system uh, in, as my island uh, in the lab. Uh, we have just a photography table here, a, uh, a box furnace, have uh, uh, the dry glove box with the desiccator up on top, uh, chemical storage, machining uh, in here. Uh, with the you know lathe and mill, the uh, drill press, the mechanical bench, and that's you know pretty much the uh, the whole setup. I should mention that that down below is my uh, vacuum system. This is the uh, that vacuum well. There is what was leaking and causing me to have to periodically turn on the vacuum pump manually which is why I ended up sleeping in here through the first part of the experiment because I had to keep that vacuum uh, reservoir uh, pumped down but I didn't want to leave the vacuum pump on continuously so that's something that's going to get fixed before the next experiment so that there's no uh, attention required to that uh, while the rest of the experiment is automated so there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them on Leonard Forum.